My name is Nora Abraham, I'm a columnist for the Daily Illini, and I'm a Syrian-American. Back home, I grew up in a close, tight-knit Syrian-American community that prided itself on holding on to the generous, hospitable spirit of being a Syrian. Most of our parents were um, either first-born generation uh, immigrants or Americans, so we were well-versed in the virtues of being Syrian. But they also made it well-known the reasons why they left. For decades, the al-Assad uh, regime was largely, and still is, a dense, oppressive fog upon its people. It left people knocked out of air, unable to speak. And perhaps more importantly, it made the Syrian people afraid. Afraid to lose their family, to jeopardize their friends, have their tongues cut off. Uh, America, to us and our parents, was the freedom to do what Syria wouldn't let us do, dare let us do. Question institution, raise concerns, rally. When the revolution broke out more than a year ago, we weren't sure how to react. Um, stay quiet, most of our parents warned. It'll keep you safe from their control if we were ever to hope to go back. But our generation won't stand for silence. It won't wear a leash willingly, especially when hundreds died daily for a right to own our words. I'm incredibly proud of the kind of tireless work to raise activity and awareness that Syrian Americans of my generation have prompted. My parting word is to really appreciate our freedom to use our words and to support others' right and fight to make it a right.